all right traders I'm back again with another video and this time I want to take some time to talk about fractals just a little bit because um basically I trade with the fractals and I always mention fractal levels fractals 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 and you hear that from me a lot and you may not know what it is and then you get confused basically you can look at fractals as swing points swing highs and swing lows that's where the market basically makes a change of direction so that's why fractals are important in um, the trading that I'm doing and also the fractals um, they form for, uh, support and resistance levels so we'll get into that fractals were probably made famous with the trader Bill Williams and he traded a chaos uh, his uh, theory, his trading technique was called the, the chaos theory and that's where I started trading with I started using fractals and trying his system out and I didn't really I don't know I just didn't really get into that style of trading I liked the fractals a lot but I didn't like everything else I didn't like depending on um, these indicators that he was using so I didn't uh, continue that way but I saw a very you know very good thing with the fractals so I wanted to keep those in my trading because basically fractals are part of um, you know it could be shown in trending uh, markets or uh, consolidated markets markets that are ranging because fractals make swing points so when a fractal bounces off of a ranging level you'll see that so if it bounces off that high range or that low range you'll see that fractal level form and then also when the markets moving ranging I mean uh, trending you see those fractal levels so we'll, we'll get into those and I'll show you that and what I mean about both of those situations but basically a fractal is a formation where the middle candle or the bar is the highest high or lowest low and it's preceded by two higher highs or two lower lows on each side depending on if it's a bearish or bullish fractal formation so the bearish fractal formation is a formation where the middle candle is the highest high and has two lower highs on both sides so it can be um, the highest high is going to be by the wick not by the close so you're going to see the high wick and then the next candles wick cannot go higher than that previous that middle candle and then the next one after that can't go higher higher and then the one prior to that has to be low um, lower also and then the one next to that lower so I'm probably confusing you with that but if you take your hand and you look at your palm put your hands together and look at your palm then that middle candle would be your middle finger and then the two candles next to it would be the candles on each side of it so the candles on the left would be the two candles on your left side and then the candles on your right would be the two candles on your right and then that would be the formation where your middle finger is and basically that's where it is your next finger your index finger isn't higher than your middle finger and then your thumb isn't higher than your uh, your index finger right so that you just look at the palm of your hand your right hand and you can see that and you can do that with your left hand too it's the same thing it's going to be a fractal formation but then we have that in the market now a bullish fractal formation is a formation where the middle candle is the lowest low and has two higher lows on both sides so let's show those so here's that bearish fractal formation and then here's the middle candle and you can see this is the high part right here this is the highest high and then it, there's this high here is not higher than that one and then there's this high here it's not higher than that so we have a fractal developing so when we see the market and we don't see these candles and then we see this next candle and then it closes and it doesn't have a higher high than that one then we know we need one more candle and it will be this one the higher this high is not higher than this high so this is going to be a bearish fractal because the movement is downwards but when we trade it it's um, a bullish fractal and I'll show you that I, I don't want to um, get you confused with anything but just know this is a bearish fractal whenever you see, you see that formation and then um, most in most uh, trading software has fractals in it you can have them formed and it'll show you where the fractal is and that's what this is doing this is putting the fractals in prior 
I don't do this this is where the fractals are coming in from the um, trading software now you can see here this right here is a bearish fractal because you have this middle fractal then this one's not higher and either is this one this one's not higher and either is that one and then what does the market do it drops down alright so a lot of people sometimes they trade it like this you have this fractal this is this is the fractal but it, this fractal is not going to develop until the end of this second candle so this is lagging so basically if you try to trade the fractals and that's what I started doing in the beginning before I ever traded um, Ichimoku I would trade after this the close of this candle here I would go short put my stop up here and then I would write it down here but see the thing is you don't know where this is going and then it can after this candle it could go down here a little then pull back and break that level so basically you had to know the air, the trend and you had to be going with the trend and it became quite confusing I, I didn't do as well as I wanted to so I started to find other ways and that's when I ran into Ichimoku but there was some things still about fractals that I still loved I loved the support and resistance and I loved that when a fractal level was broken I could get into a trade and know that I was trading with the trend basically alright so this is a bearish fractal you can see them on the chart here all of these where the red arrows are I put this one here to distinguish this one so we could definitely look at that so here's a bearish fractal because this high and this high are not higher than that one this high and this high are not higher than that one and remember it's not the close or the open it's the wick let's go to the bullish fractal so here's a bullish fractal you can see this low is the lowest and then this low and then this low do not exceed this low these two lows do not exceed that low so it has to be the five candles one two three four five alright some people say some people use the three candle formation which is not as accurate so it will be one the middle candle and then two one the middle candle and then three I have to learn the count still but it'd be one two three and that's not as uh, you know I use the five formation I think that's more accurate I think it's basically noted that usually it's the five candle formation but I have seen people using three candle formation some software when you even open it up lets you use three candles so if your software tells ask you between three or five candles go with the five candles and you'll see this is it one two three four five uh, here it is again one two three the middle four and five so these two here don't exceed this low here so they're making these these lows are not as low as the middle low this high is not as high as the middle highs so that's where you get the um, bearish the bullish the lows aren't as low as the middle low alright so now if I'm trading this this is gonna be a bearish a bullish fractal for me because I'm gonna wait for this level to get broken and then I'm going long because once this candle here breaks that level this level didn't break it but then this one broke it and closed I get into the trade and then I go and see that's bullish for me bearish would be if it if the uh, price came down this way and broke that level then it's a bearish fractal for me that's what I'm looking for and these levels are strong support and resistance and you could see where it is right here let me go to a, another one and show you you could see the fractal levels all these levels it's fractal resistance levels all these levels fractal support levels the market was ranging in this area and that's where I was talking about here's some you could see this comes up and then makes this fractal so where would you trade this to you have to wait for this candle to close and then you have the fractal this isn't going to show this fractal until this candle closes and then you get in on that because you see the fractal develop you put your stop loss above that fractal and you ride it to the range um, support level okay so then you would ride that right to the range support level and then on the bounce now see this would make it too high here this one but you're bouncing off of this support level 
because you made this fractal and these two right right here weren't lower so then the fractal developed after this now here's the fractal after this candle closed so you would get in here your stop loss would be way down here but this candle was too big to get into that trade you're halfway through the range already but then you would ride it up to here so a better one would be this one this is even far yeah these fractals are far I wouldn't get into the trades with with these bars making the fractal level that far but now say this fractal here on the range here now we're, in, we're trading the range if this candle came closed here like it did this candle closed here and then another candle closed maybe here then you could get in on this candle closed here instead of way up here and then ride it to the top of this range alright so this is that range trading and we'll make a video and get into that more um, range trading because always the market is probably ranging mostly like 70 percent of the time and Ichimoku is for um, trending systems and if the market's only trending 30 percent of the time then um, a lot of times we're not able to get into trades or our trades don't work because we're in a range and we think we're getting ready to uh, trend but we're not so then the Ichimoku doesn't work for you and then you say oh the system's no good yeah the system's good it doesn't work in a ranging market all right so that's where you see that and you, you will learn we'll talk about uh, trading the range even with the Ichimoku I'll show you how we can do it but it's gonna be a little different than the regular rules okay so let's let's get out of here get into a chart so the reason why I trade these fractals as you can see this is a, a um, bullish market now Ichimoku we're using that just to let us know where our support and resistance is and to get our signals and to get confirmation with um, Chiku Span but here's a level right here this fractal level you can see the fractal this is showing that this is a bearish fractal I mean a bullish fractal that's why it's green okay and the reason they're showing it as a bullish fractal is because we're trading the breaks of these fractals to go long so my level would be here this is the fractal level right here so we put a line there and you can see why it's a fractal level because of the rules that I told you and then price breaks it right there and then you get into the trade alright and you see what it does so you miss this one then we look for another fractal level there it is price breaks that level there you go you miss that one you look for another fractal level breaks that level and there it goes you miss that one you look for another one this is what it does while the markets ranging I mean while the markets trending while that market is trending it's gonna make these fractal levels because it's making swing highs and swing lows so whenever it makes swing highs and swing lows it's gonna make fractal levels even when it's not really you can see it's not it's starting to range right here a little bit but it's still making fractal levels which is gonna be a support level for the range when it starts ranging but you see it breaks that level and there it goes and so now we we keep doing that we're looking to break this level and then that doesn't happen so maybe we're gonna start the range right and if we say that okay back here it happened here but if we're looking here it didn't happen all this time so we feel we're in a range and we put another candle I mean another line there and then this would be our range right and so now we're looking to break out of that range and the chicos I mean the um, clouds right there at the bottom of this range right here and if we break out of that we can go short but it doesn't break that way it breaks the long way now we're not trading the, the uh, fractal level here we're trading the, um, the cloud breakout right here so this would be the cloud breakout but now you have to be aware of this level and know that we can get break that level and get pushed back down if we don't break that level so here on this little candle here you would have thought maybe if it doesn't close above that it may come back down and then stay in this range but instead it moves and moves on and it's where it is now and see you could see another break of this level but the market seems to be 
slowing down now. Now looking at this Euro Yen pair, you can see where it stayed above the cloud and broke the cloud in September 2012 and hasn't been below the cloud until uh, what's that April April, thir April 2013 and then stayed above the cloud we just broke for one day so it's been above the cloud mostly like almost a whole year so now we have to see what's going to happen with that that's the euro yen something to keep in mind but traders that's basically it that's fractals trading fractals fractal levels just wanted to get make it clear what the fractals are so that when I'm talking about fractals and we look for trades and we're looking for trades off of the fractal levels that everyone knows what we're doing and knows what we're talking about so basically that's it right there and um, I guess I'll be back with another video and until that time hope you guys are learning something and God bless <laughs>